Hey guys, Desol back in the Nerd Cave with my March 2024 pickups video. Kind of a slow month. Um, if it weren't for Walmart, I wouldn't have much, <laughs> really, um, much stuff to show you today. Uh, but I will quickly go through it. But first, I wanted to show you something that I picked up uh, when I saw Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Um... I was going to do a separate video on this. I never got a chance to do it, so I just figured I'd show it uh, here. And I got the Ghost Trap Popcorn Bucket. <laughs> it was the last one. I got it in an AMC theater. Also got a pin uh, when I got my ticket. This is really cool. It lights up. If I can... There we go. So, yeah. Like that, uh, yeah, I had to get it. Everyone's like going crazy over these popcorn buckets. Um, didn't really want the Dune one, didn't see Dune in the theater. Um, I know there was this and some other theaters, like I think Cinemark had um, the Slimer bucket, but AMC had this one, so I thought this was pretty cool. Um, really kind of like hard plastic, and it, and it rolls and the dials like move and stuff. So I thought it was pretty cool. So I had to pick it up. Uh, the movie itself was okay. Um, I rank it fourth out of the four. Um, I really liked uh, the last one, Afterlife. Um, even though a lot of people thought that was kind of fan service, I liked it. Um, I do appreciate the new one. Um, I, I watched something where that people are saying that people are kind of going out of their way to, to say good things about the movie. Um, but I did enjoy most of it. Um, I do like that um, it was kind of felt like a Ghostbuster, the real Ghostbusters like cartoon episode. Um, I'm just going to say what everyone else has been saying. Essentially, too many characters, um, too many things going on. Um, if they didn't have that and they just kind of focused it, on the main characters, then a little maybe give, me, give us a little more Slimer. That would have been cool. Um, then I think it would have been a lot better. But I don't hate it. I hope it doesn't kill the franchise. I didn't really check the box office to see how it did. Um, but hopefully, like I said, it didn't kill the franchise. Um, again, rank it four out of the four. I'm not counting 2016. Not that I hate that movie. I just don't count it in that same kind of continuity. So anywhere. Anyway, here's my uh, ghost trap bucket. So just another thing to have in this room. I have no idea where to put it. <laughs> um, okay, so let's kind of just jump into my Amazon pickups. First up is uh, Cutting Class. This is uh, number four in the MVD 4K Laser Vision collection. I really like this collection. Uh, number three hasn't come out yet. I think number three is supposed to be Ghoulies 2. Just hasn't come out yet. Didn't open this up. Um, and this is an upgrade to my Vinegar Syndrome release of Cutting Class. I just had the Amaray. Don't have a uh, slip for this one. So I'll probably sell this or do something with this. I don't need two copies. Um, again, unless this doesn't come with a Blu-ray, maybe I'll keep this. Just so I have a Blu-ray and a 4K. Not sure. Does it? Let's see. 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray disc. Content specifications. Blu-ray. Main feature 4K. Main feature. Yeah, so there's a Blu-ray in this. So I really don't need to keep that. So I'll probably have to throw that on on eBay I would think because I have a lot of vinegar syndrome um so I can use the room for my vinegar syndrome shelf for sure anyway so that's cutting class uh, if anyone knows when number three of the series is supposed to come out um I've asked around I talked to the guys over at Diabolic DVD um last time I saw them at the Monster Mania convention and it's just no word from what I've heard, anyway. Um, next up, Amazon pickup. The Muppets Take Manhattan 4K. Uh, the price went down on this, um, so I went ahead and picked this up. 
Uh, my favorite is the Muppet movie. Um, but Muppets Take Manhattan is my second favorite one. Followed by The Great Muppet Caper. Just kind of grew up in the 80s, so I saw a lot of those movies. Um, so yeah, so Muppets Take Manhattan, excited to have that. Next up is the Steelbook of Footloose. I've heard mixed things about the transfer of the 4K. Uh, I haven't watched it yet, uh, but I did have to crack open this Steelbook. It is really cool. Looks like a Walkman, which is awesome. Comes with your 4K and Blu-ray. And it comes with a poster. Which I didn't realize. I thought that was kind of cool. So it's just like the the movie poster um, as I drop the steelbook. Um, I did pick this up when it first released. Um, it kind of sold out on Amazon for a little bit. Uh, but it came back in stock. So, so happy to have that. Um, don't have that in the collection, surprisingly. So that is not an upgrade. That is a, a first um, in the collection. Double checking my DVDs, but I, yeah, I don't have that yet. Uh, next up is, and this is another one from Amazon, uh, price jumped down, jumped, you know, went, went down on this. So had to uh, pick this up, went down on this. That's, that didn't sound right. Anyway, the Alfred Hitchcock classic collection, um, volume three, it, it doesn't say volume three on these, like it doesn't say the volumes, but this is the third volume. I'm so happy to pick this one up. Kind of beat up a little bit, but that's okay. I just kind of like... It comes with your um, digital copies. I just like the way it kind of looks, you know, digipack. Digibook style. I know some people don't like the movies in here. But I like the way they do this. The way that um, Universal does these. I know they did this with... The Back to the Future collection, the other uh, Alfred Hitchcock collections. And I'm forgetting what else I have that is just like this, but I, I do like when they do that. So it doesn't bother me when this is flimsy anyway, so I don't expect this to really hold up. But I like how this kind of matches his silhouette. Oh, of course, the movies that come with it is uh, Rope, The Man Who Knew Too Much. Torn Curtain, Topaz, and Frenzy. So here are my pickups from Amazon. I'll just move it over to this side. And we'll just jump right into the Walmart Steelbooks. I'll leave a link in the description below to that video. Um, that video is doing really well, so thank you for, uh, for those uh, who have watched it. Uh, for those who haven't, definitely check this out um, or check that out. Uh, but I'll just quickly go through this. Uh, that video just was me going through some of my Walmart pickups and um, some of the other Walmart steelbooks that they are re-releasing that used to be Best Buy. Just a comparison and showing that off um, and just kind of grateful for Walmart. Um, hopefully they stick with the physical media game for a while, but you know, eventually, who knows? But I'm quickly going to go through these. If you want uh, a more of an in-depth, check out my other video. So first up is Cutthroat Island. That's the most recent one. A little expensive. Um, but it's a Lionsgate steelbook. I've never seen that movie. It's notoriously notoriously a bad movie. Uh, so I definitely want to check that out. Creepshow. Um... Not really an upgrade. I have so many copies of Creepshow. Um, I have the 4K um, right here. Well, I'm not going to pull it out, but you can see it right there. Um, 4K from Scream Factory. I have a DVD. I have the Blu-ray Scream Factory set. Uh, just absolutely love that movie. So I'm going to own it in any format that comes out. Same thing with The Lost Boys. I have a million copies of those. Um, beta, VHS, Laserdisc, you name it, I have it. Dragon Heart on 4K, Kickboxer, Blu-ray, Steelbook, Anaconda, let me take the big card off. I fell for this, um, just like a lot of others on, on videos. Um, 
I looked at this really quickly and thought it was a dent, and I knew it wasn't because I've seen videos where people freaked out over that. Um, but if you look at it real quick, it, it does look like a dent. Anyway, um, Anaconda, cool steel book, bare bones released. It's Mill Creek. VHS triple feature. Um, I don't know if this is hard to get now, but I, I caught this at my Walmart and I haven't seen it since. And it looks like it's sold out online, but who knows? Keep checking. Maybe they restock. And last up is the 4K of The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Amazing artwork by Alex Ross. And that is an upgrade from my Blu-ray copy. Um, the only difference is this actually has the 3D version on here. I don't have a 3D TV. I'm not sure who still does. Um, I never really got into the 3D game. So I'm just going to throw that into my eBay pile. So let me just pause this so I can rearrange things. Okay, so next up are my pickups from uh, the Monster Mania convention. I will leave a link in the description below to that video. So again, I'm just going to do a very quick run through of what I picked up. Uh, first up are five DVD snap cases. I love snap cases. Uh, so I had to get these. These are five for $10. Uh, first one up. Murder by Numbers, Gothica, Fear.com, Deep Blue Sea, and believe it or not, I don't own any of these, um, so these are all first pickups for me, and Blade, I have this on 4K, but I had to get the uh, snap case on that one. Next up is Clive Barker's Underworld 4K. This is number five in the Kino Cult line. I always do this. Um, picked this up for like 25 bucks, which was a good deal at the time because on eBay, I'm sorry, on Amazon, it was going for like 35. But now you can get this on the Kino sale for $17.99. So if you haven't checked out the Kino Lorber sale, they're doing their March Madness through April 22nd, I believe. So you go and check that out. But yeah, so I, I picked this up again. Still a good price. Got it from the uh, Diabolic DVD table. Um, way better price than Amazon. So I went ahead and picked that up from them. And last is Welcome to Rock, Red Rock West. Uh, this is a... Um, cinematography this is this is vinegar syndrome uh this is their cinematography line i'm not going to go into it uh, but it is like a really cool book inside it's like a digi book very um premium product uh check out the video um for a more in-depth look at that um so here are my pickups um before i get going i do also want to show a couple other things that I picked up this month, um, some vinyl. Uh, these first two are um, from the Monster Mania convention as well. Let me expand this. There we go. And I'm dropping everything. Here we go. Uh, first one up. I'm sure you saw that. Wow, I am a mess here. Okay. I don't edit my videos, guys. I just don't have the time. Um, what you see is what you're going to get, and you are going to see all of this. <laughs> me fiddling around with the camera, me dropping it. You're going to see it all. Sorry. Just eventually I'll learn how to do it. Anyway, uh, Dawn of the Dead. Uh, apparently this is a first run of the vinyl. I uh, got it at a... Um, Vendor at Monster Mania. Again, check out that video. I think I show you the business card of that vendor. I don't remember off the top of my head right now um, who they were. And also picked up Beetlejuice. Uh, these are both Waxwork record releases. Um, I want to pick this up from the website and it sold out pretty quickly. So glad I was able to find it at Monster Mania. And the next two um, are Waxwork records as well. 
Uh, this almost completes my Friday the 13th vinyl collection. I only have one more after this. Um, but th these were um, Christmas presents from my brother-in-law. Um, but they didn't release until March. So they just came in during that month. And it's a Friday 13th Part 7, The New Blood. Really, really nice vinyl. We saw these at Monster Mania. Um, <clears throat> not the last time, but the time before that for way too much money. I want to say, did we see that in Monster Mania? Am I making, I'm making, I'm lying to you. I've lied to you and I'm sorry. I've seen these on eBay for stupid prices, um, like eighties, nineties. Um, but they re-released them, uh, at work, Waxwork Records. Um, I don't know if they're still in stock, um, uh, but I know they re-released a lot of them. Um, so if you are missing some from this collection, I would double check before you pay stupid eBay prices. Uh, the, this is probably, I think, back down to the normal kind of thirty-something dollar MSRP. Um, and here's the back. Really great artwork. I haven't opened it up yet, obviously. And next up is Friday Thirteenth Part Eight: Jason Takes a Boat to Manhattan. <laughs> um, yeah, really nice. I really want to open this up because I can tell that. It's gonna look cool, so I'm I'm, I'm gonna have to open this up, uh, but not right, not not yet. Um, love how they do this; it makes it look like um, like path stops uh, or subway stops. So really cool. Same thing here, the way it looks. Really like that. So the only one now that I am missing is uh, Friday Thirteenth Part Two. Um, that's a really cool looking cover, um, but that hasn't been re-released yet. Not sure if it will be, uh, but I will be keeping an eye on it. But anyway, guys, here are my pickups. Uh, let me know in the comments below, what did you get in the month of March? Um, are you getting anything from the Kino sale? I just went ahead and ordered my Kino um pickups um so hopefully that will come up my kino pickups my kino order um just did that uh this evening right before i made this video um so i will be doing a pickups video when that comes in um, i'm always buying kino in bulk um i think the only thing i didn't get that was part of the sale was leviathan on 4k uh, i love that movie uh so super excited to see that on 4k i heard the transfer is really great on that um, try to pick it up at Monster Mania. Um, Diabolic DVD had it, but they they didn't have slipcovers because the slipcovers, I guess, that they had, it came in. They said it was all like they're all jacked up. So I think they were selling them without it. So I just held off. Um, they're a couple dollars cheaper through um, the Kino sale. I don't know if it's the sale price or just directly through Kino. It was like twenty six ninety nine. It's a couple dollars more on Amazon. So if you're already picking stuff up from Kino and you're getting the free shipping anyway, I think anything over $50 or is it $100 you get free shipping. Uh, so I would say check that out. Anyway, guys, here are my pickups. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, see you guys in the Nerd Cave.